Since the 1960s, NASA has successfully launched around 200 manned missions to space. But how do rockets work? If we're going to be talking about how rockets get to space, we should determine what exactly space means. For most purposes, the difference between Earth's atmosphere and outer space is marked by the Kármán line, which begins roughly 100 kilometers above mean sea level. When a rocket is sent to space, it might be sent on a quick suborbital mission, or it might stay in Earth's orbit, like the International Space Station, or it could be sent to escape Earth's orbit, like Apollo 11 and Voyager. No, not that Voyager, that Voyager. Rockets have four key sections. The main structure, propulsion, guidance system, and payload. The main structure is the shell of the rocket, the thing that's keeping it together. The propulsion system generates thrust to get the rocket into space. Technically, the propulsion system is what we would call the rocket, but we tend to use the word rocket colloquially to refer to the whole spacecraft. The guidance system takes readings and maintains the rocket's course. In the past, guidance systems would feed data back to Earth where human computers would need to interpret it. The payload is whatever is being delivered into space. In manned missions, this would be the astronaut, but it could also be a space probe or a satellite. As you might have guessed, rockets are incredibly large and heavy. The Saturn V rocket used in the Apollo 11 mission weighed over 2.8 million kilograms. So how do they even get off the ground? First off, the forces acting on the rocket must be unequal. The thrust lifting the rocket must be greater than the weight pulling the rocket down in order to get anywhere. But how do we generate enough thrust? This is where the propulsion system comes in. Every action must have an equal and opposite reaction. So when the propulsion system fires, burning massive amounts of fuel and expelling the burning gas, it generates thrust in the opposite direction, which lifts the rocket off the ground. Modern rockets use staging to maintain efficiency during the ascent. This means that at different points during the flight, sections of the rocket will break off to reduce mass. At each of these points, the propulsion system will fire in order to maintain the ascent until it reaches Earth's orbit. And if it needs to break orbit, it will need to fire its propulsion system again to reach escape velocity. And that's how rockets get to space. Like and subscribe for more educational content and leave a comment below to let us know what you think.